This episode is brought to you by Trunkline. Trunkline is the Angie's List with an oil-filled twist. Join Trunkline today. Impact Exploration Services made this possible for PBE Podcast. Get your mud logging, geo steering, and lab results that will make a positive impact on your bottom line. Bell Geospace supported PBE, made it possible to do our first show from Wichita Falls. And if you need gravity data that can see the deep-seated faults around your AOI, you need to call Bell Geospace today. Icon Science, the subsurface geoscience software that needs no introduction. Petrophysics, geophysics, tied to the rock data for you to visualize the best parts of your reservoir. And last but certainly not least, TGS. TGS is one of the largest data providing companies in the world, especially in the oil and gas world. Stay tuned with the development of their Well Data Analytics web-based platform. I personally use this platform to help me find projects and talk with investors about what we are looking at. Listen out for those shows with Asal and Andrew Stearns. Andrew Stearns talks about the DST database they have. Absolutely lights out. Check out this show we did with TGS's product owner of Well Data Products, Asal Rahimi Zanal. Three, two, two one. one. Let's hey. go! <laughs> I am the host of the PBE podcast, <sighs> Troy Tittlemeyer, sitting at the 2023 Southwest Section AAPG event that's happened here in Wichita Falls. It's the 100th anniversary. Oh, yeah. 100 years Exciting. of the North Texas Geologic Society. Uh, we got to hear a lot of that history, all these geologists from back in the day. Uh, back when Wichita was one of the best places to I be know, for oil right? and gas. Yeah, I, I was in a keynote, the the talk, the first one. You listened yeah, to all that? Yeah, I did, yeah. It was lots of interesting stories. Very interesting. 1923. 19... I wasn't even born back then. You weren't here? <laughs> no. yeah, neither, no. was I. neither was I. I can only imagine. 1923 was right after World War One. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then right before a Great Depression is yeah. the Roaring Twenties. Yeah. People yeah. were like, oh, we're out of war. Then Great Depression. It happened, yeah, right. World War II. Yeah. Like, it wow. was an interesting talk. I learned a lot. Yeah, yeah. Please introduce yourself. Quick elevator pitch of okay. who you are. My name is Asal Rahimi Zainal. I am I'm working for TGS and I am kind of new there. It's not even six months. I started working nice. there in November. And I loving. I'm loving it. And let me give you some background about myself. Yeah, right? please. Like, a ha- how back? How much Let's back? rock it back. Like, I want to know where you were born. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking. I'm going to even Google it. I'm going to Google the town you <laughs> were born me. in okay. right now. So I'm from Iran. Okay. And I moved to the United States uh, in 2010. But before that, I got my undergrad and master from Iran. So I came to the United States with my student visa. So my undergrad was mining engineering. And then my master, the one that I have in Iran, was from Tehran University. And uh, that was in uh, geophysics seismic. Yes, that's, that's me. That's where yeah. you're from? Yes. <laughs> wow, look at the geology it's, right there. Yeah. What and then in the world? In 2010, decided to move into the United States. And uh, I got my second master here because I came with student visa. And I got Woo. my petroleum engineering from USC, California. I lived in California for about two and a half years. Oh, wow. You lived in L.A.? Yeah, L.A. Wow. What part of L.A.? Downtown. Okay. USC like, is in downtown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On, on the uh, beach side of the 10 or no, the 405? I, I wish. Or? No, I wish. No, it's just more in downtown. But it was about like a half an hour drive to the beach, like Santa Monica. Oh, all really? You were, ha- you were a half a, mi- mi- a half an hour drive to Santa Monica About, still. yeah. Wow. It's with the traffic, everything. It is a big city with the traffic, <laughs> yeah. all of that. It depends what- on what time of a day you go, which day. It's yeah. important, yeah. Hey, that was pretty nice though, huh? LA is pretty nice. It is nice, but it's expensive. Right, yeah. right. And what school did you go to in, in Iran? Tehran, Tehran University. I said Iran, it's Iran. Ir- yes, Iran. remember yesterday we right. had the conversation. Iran. Yeah, Iran, yeah. What was the name of the town? Tehran. And the school name was Tehran University. Tehran. Where the heck is that? It's not coming up on the Googs. Tehran is a capital. It's the capital of Iran, yeah. I wonder why it's not coming up. It starts with a T. T E H R A N. Tehran. T E H R. There it is. Do you find it? Okay. Wow, you're way up here. Yeah, is that up right? There. You're up by the. Yeah, exactly. Is that the Caspian? Oh, yeah, it's the Caspian Sea. 
You were next to all the mud volcanoes. Yeah. There are hundreds of mud volcanoes in the in southern Caspian? Caspian yeah. Sea. Yeah. There's a big ring of them that go right through this big old fault that runs right through Azerbaijan. Yeah. Actually, you know, I'm originally from Azerbaijan. What? I moved to Tehran with my parents when I was fifth grade. I, yeah, fifth grade. What? Yeah. I'm uncovering more details. See, you made it. You tried to get me simple. You said I'm from Iran. I don't know how, Bahak, you want to go. Know. That's exactly where I want to go. Wow. So do, have you actually seen that big mud volcano that they're no. drilling into? No. Unfortunately, no, I haven't. Man, it's out here on the coast somewhere. Really? That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Maybe next time, my next trip, I'll go check it out. Oh, man. Wow. That is amazing. You know, the Caspian Sea is kind of similar to the Permian Basin in my just basic understanding. The south side of the sea is filling up with sediment at incredibly fast pace, like it's filling itself up very, very fast. And that's kind of the Delaware Basin mm -hmm. side of the, yeah, of the yeah. Permian. It's, it has a similar story S similar, to that. Similar, yeah, like and then that big crack that separates the two is kind of like the Central Basin platform. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, very interesting. I'm so glad I said something like this. <laughs> you tried to get one over on me. You said you're from our, uh, Iran, Iran, but you're actually born in Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan side of Iran, not the Azerbaijan country. Ah. You know, like a nurse. Northwest of Iran. Okay. That corner is just all like Azerbaijan, like a town. They all speak the main language is Azeri. Everybody there speak Azeri. I, I was born there and my parents speak Azeri to me. Really? Although the main language of Iran is Farsi, but my, my mom still like she called me and she started speaking Azeri and I reply back in Farsi. Oh wow. This is just good. like you know how how we grew up. And um wow. yeah, but we have a really, really good friends in Azerbaijan, and I've been there in Baku a lot of times. Really? We used to go there every summer, like really? uh, visiting. Yeah, she's my mom's best friend, and and I love it. You should definitely visit. Oh, I'd it. love it's to go there. It's beautiful, like a beautiful country. Everything wow. is in, yeah. Golly, that sounds ma amazing. What do your parents do for a living? My mom is a school teacher. Oh, she's wow. a retired school teacher, and my dad has his own company, like a service company, small company. Yeah, he, my dad com is still back in Iran. But my mom, she lives United in the United States. Oh, she does. Yeah. Oh, she I, lives I, with you. I made her move in to United States. Yeah, moving with me. Yeah. What? She, she's she's a great help. <laughs> <laughs> she's good. a great help. Yeah. Nice, good. And yeah, you have brothers and sisters? I have a brother, younger brother. Okay. Yeah, he lives also here in Houston. Really? He's in oil and gas too. Really? Yeah. What yeah. a small world. Now your dad does services for the oil and gas industry. No, in not oil and gas. It's just for like you know offices. You know they provide services for all the offices. Okay. It's different type. Yeah. What drove you? What like drove you to oil and gas? What? Why? Why? Do you want an honest answer or yeah. made up answer? No, no, <laughs> honest <laughs> answer, and then we're gonna deconvolve this thing a little bit. You know, in Iran, when you finish high school, there is a one main university entrance exam. Once a year, and like millions of students, after they finish their high school, they take that test. Okay. It's a one test, five hours test. So actually, what it's a three the... different tests for the math, science, and the literature. Like okay. if you go to the engineering school, you go to medical, or you go to law school. And um, so when you finish your high school, it doesn't matter which school you're coming from, which what is your grade, GPA, it does none of them matter. The only thing that matters is how you do in that entrance exam. What's your grade? What? So you get great. You, you get like, you know, they rate you based on how you did. On that one on five hour just, test. Just one five hour. If you just stick on that date, so you miss the whole year. You have to continue in the next year. That's wow. really important. It's a big deal. Wow. And the people that they go, like, you know, just for my, because I was doing the math, you know, I wasn't like engineering. I yeah. want to do engineering. Yeah. And based on your grade, like uh, how you do in that, and you can, based on that, you can decide which school you go and you don't have any other option. And like uh, the first top 10 students in the engineering, they go to the like electrical engineering. Top like uh, we have a Sharif or Tehran best. It's just like MIT here. Wow. They go there and then the, it's just based on how they, you go down, you get, Pick. Yeah, your options. You option. No, I was not in top ten, but it was like a first top thousand. Nice, two, yeah. nice. Out of millions. Uh, out of millions, yeah. Oh and then goodness. so I was able, based on my grades, so I had I was able to go like mining engineering in a Tehran university. Okay. And 
honestly, back then I had no idea about what's mining engineering. Wow. I had no you idea. just knew numbers. You like math. I, I, yeah, I, I love math. I'm good at numbers. Huh. And then I went and I and I liked it. It was not just and after four years when I graduated, I decided to just keep continuing that. So I went geophysics. I got mm. my master in geophysics, seismic. Because it's math heavy. All those equations. All to those equations, freaking, numbers. Yes. Yeah, right. And then I worked for a couple of years in Iran. And then uh, after that, I moved to here and, and other engineering, like petro petroleum engineering. Petroleum. And, engineering. Yeah. And I love it. It's always. Wow. How could you, can you simplify calculus? How do you explain calculus to a five year old? Uh, just not, not, not right now. <laughs> 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 not right now. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. That's okay. Uh, I always struggled, man. Math was so difficult for me. So difficult. No, I'm so so lucky. My son also he's good at math. He's All good. Right. Like he's great. I don't have to explain anything to him. Like he wasn't. He just gets it. He wasn't even. He's in second grade now, and like. If he was in first grade, he, he was able to do multiply, all of those. I How just have old to is, tell are him, you in first first grade? How old seven, is Seven, that's seven. seven years Second old. grade is eight. And wow. they start doing the multiplies at third grade. And uh, like, I'm just so lucky. So wow. easy because I, I can't, I couldn't handle if he wasn't good at math. So wow, he would be right? fighting a lot during the homeworks. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be do differential equations here yeah, soon. He, he's good. He's Jeez. good. He's easy. Just I tell him just once, and he's oh okay sure. Man, what'd you name him? Adrian. Adrian. Yeah, nice. That's Adrian. a good name. Nice. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay. So you get your math degrees. You get into industry. Um, <clears throat> you didn't really know. Well, you went mining first, so not really oil and gas until you started going into. So you came to the states. You you kind of picked up on oil and gas. Yes. Wow. I did. And like in after finish, not finish, I was almost at the end of it. Like in my master here in USC, uh, I think I told you the story yesterday. Uh, I there was a, like a career fair in our school. It was 2012 when I graduated. You know the boom, everybody oh, hiring. Yeah. There was a company, Micro Seismic, which I worked That's for right. them for a long time. So there was a guy named Mike Mueller. Mike Mueller, he's an amazing guy. He used to be the VP of development for MicroSeismic back then. Okay. And he was doing recruiting in USC. So back then, people from Houston were going to California to recruiting students. To so find the so people was, that were the top thousand out of a yeah, million. But yeah, but I don't think it's happening now because there are lots of schools here. And it's not like 2012. Like yeah. 2012, the hiring was just everybody yeah. hiring. So I met him. We had a student expo like a career fair so all the students presenting their posters or whatever yep and did then, you have a poster or what was i think yes i nice. did yeah some kind of weird mathematical yeah equation. actually it was like a geophysical something because oh. my background was geophysical i was working with my professor like nice. it was more seismic getting rid and, of some noise or yeah how, how it was like a gas detection something Ooh, like nice that. nice and then i met this guy, Mike Muller. So we had after the expo, we had a lunch and they put one recruiter on each table for like yeah. 10 students. And we were talking, having lunch and everybody's trying to impress themselves, you know, right. just impress him, you know, like I'm good. And then he asked, because micro seismic back then, they didn't have engineering department. They weren't doing completions evaluation. It was only seismic. They only had geophysicists. And they were, they started building the whole engineering side completions evaluation back mm -hmm. then. And uh, so anyway, uh, Mike Muller asked everybody, all the students, and he said, OK, I need I'm looking for somebody that is just dual degree, has a geophysics background and petroleum engineering, because we need engineer, but yeah. we need somebody to understand the background, why, what, where these dots, micro seismic right. dots comes from, where how you process them. From? And I was like, and he said that anybody here that has both of them, and I was the only one. The right? only I'm one like, able to raise yeah, your me. hand. And then also he asked, um, okay, I need somebody as soon as possible because we need that person. And it was like around March, I guess. And it was graduating in May. And I'm like, perfect. I'm graduating in a few months. And then um, just, I said, okay, perfect. So give me your info. And then after that, we had phone interview with him. Really? With the, actually, the phone interview was Mike Muller and Carl Newhouse, which is my new boss in TGS. That's why nice. he hired me. So I used to work for him before. Man. So both of them. And then... Yeah, the another interview, another funny story. The second interview was in Vegas. <laughs> oh, nice. That was funny. 2012 SEG, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, SEG, exactly. 
because they called me and they said that they, for the second interview, they asked me to go to Houston to the office, you know, meet the team. And I told, um, I don't remember who was it back then. <laughs> I told her that I am going to be in Houston, in Vegas next week. There is a SCG. I have to be there. But a week after I can make it, I'll, I can come to Houston. Okay. And she said, oh, Interesting. Everybody's going to be in SCG. <laughs> oh, from yeah, Microsoft. Vegas, if you had a booster, everybody's going to be there. Everyone's Everybody that they're going to interview there. and meet, you're going to be there. So do you want to go there and meet them there? And I'm like, sure. Heck and yeah. I went there and I had some other inter interviews sitting right next to slot machine, you know, at the bar. One of the, <laughs> <laughs> put, was, your car, put some cash in. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um, but then they hired me, so I was with MicroSeismic for a nice. long time. So what we was built, your first job there? What'd you do? We I, we were a development team, so we were building the whole completions evaluation team. Oh, so back wow. then, MicroSeismic they were only doing dots, you know, dots in a box. But then they were trying to add more, converting those dots to the fracture planes, right? And then S calculate SRV volume, simulated rock volume, and then using that volume to calculate pro forecast production. So each well, you know, you calculate those volume and you predict how much this well is going to produce. So we started Crazy. with Excel back then. With Excel? Excel spreadsheet back oh then. Oh my gosh. And then we ended up using CMG reservoir simulation. We hiring reservoir, oh, like I a bet. reservoir engineers, I like yeah. do reservoir simulation. It was a good time, but then COVID happened. Everything went down, unfortunately. And then I left MicroSeismic, and uh, wow. now I'm. Then I worked for Petro AI for a short amount of time, and then, and then now TGS. TGS. Yeah, and in TGS, I am a product owner. Product owner. Yeah. A product owner. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, what is that? How, how do you define that role? We have a like. When you start, so we have different product owners. You know, TGS has, I, oh, I don't even bunches. know how many products <laughs> yeah, we have. Yeah. Like, I, I, I can't, like, just, I, I'm, I can't keep track of them. We have multiple products. And, like, you, you assign for, you decide what product, what industry needs. And you assign someone and you start building that. So okay. you have to come up with the ideas. What is missing out there in industry? That's what the product owner is doing? Yes. Ah. And we have, a, like, a big team. So you have access to use the development team, you know, developers, hmm. all of the marketing, everything. So you kind of manage the whole project. Wow. So you start from scratch. First, you decide what product we need and then decide how we can deliver this project, what we need. So you design the whole thing and then send the design to developers. They okay. do the coding, all those software developing. And then after that, the marketing team take care of the advertising. And then after a year or two, whenever it's ready, launch it. It's time to launch. And then also you have to, you know, do the training, you know, the product Sheesh. delivery, all of that. Sheesh. We're almost, this product actually, we're almost at the end of it. Oh, nice. There's a huge product that everybody is busy working on it, and we all are so excited. Right on. And uh, we already did the soft release for that, okay. but the, our big launch is going to be in Ertech. Are you going to Ertech? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Ertech is going to be where this year? Uh, Denver. It's Denver, in uh, early June. June early? 12 to June 15. I, okay, I guess, June yeah. 12 to June 15. TGS is there unveiling full launch. Yeah. It's a the full launch. Well, they, the, the, the product name is Well Data Analytics. And we're going to have a full launch of the Well Data Analytics. Wow. Right now, we are doing um, trial agreement, free trial agreements. Right, yeah. For I'm all of, of our people. clients and users. Uh huh. And um, so they can sign up and they have a free access. They can do testing. And, and the way that we build this product is based on the feedback of the users. Right. So the more feedback that we are receiving, the more users, the more like a access, it helps us more because I'm gathering all those comments, right. all those feedbacks. Right. That's how we build this because we don't want to, you know, there are lots of tools out there, like there are lots of them, but we don't want to deliver another one that nobody wants to use or it's confusing or it's hard for them. Right. So we want to have something that is missing out there, something easy, very yeah. user friendly that nobody wants to go through long training because none of us have a time to go through right. trainings and sit on those long classes to just, and when you have a new hire, you have to train the new right. hire. We want something easy quick something that just y y no hassle we don't yeah. Know how, yeah it's like intuitive when <clears throat> exactly. you, you're like i'm looking for this and there's just search bars everything's queryable yeah 
I can I can train you. I just have a demo for you. Ten minutes, and in ten minutes you're gonna be a pro in it. Really, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, I really want to do that. I really want to go into this. Yeah. Um, the first page of the of what you sent me about kind of well data, just TGS well data. You're talking about the life cycle of a well from a permitted location. We have everything. Yeah, we have. You're permit. collecting that information. We have permits. We have well header info. The location information who's the operator who's the ultimate owner you know all those like mnas everything like who's the ultimate owner location everything all those yeah. info and then product completion completion info also right. where and they put the perforations what how, it, they how they did it the amount of the fluid the type of the fluid the type right. of the propane the amount of that like a lateral links number of states all of those info and also production so right, we have the production. Right. So we have production statistics, like a monthly production, all on like allocated. The way that we calculate them yeah. also is different. So the production, and then we also have forecast. So for Forecasting every single data. well that has a production, we did the forecast. So we have There's forecast. There's a, a best fit line that's yeah, been best fit line. calculated. Exactly. Yeah. Man. So that's well data. Now well data analytics is what then <clears throat> so well data we used to have we have right not used to we still have a soft the software longbow right you still i can use have it access, i use it yeah. almost every day so you can have access to that all those well data that we talked about through longbow but we we are delivering this well data analytics the difference between this one and longbow is that right now it's not it doesn't have all those capabilities that longbow has because it's just new so we are keep adding it mm -hmm. more, more capabilities but it is the difference right now is faster it's quicker so you can load the data faster and like you can load the texas data like for texas we have more than a million wells right for that like i click on texas nothing no no search no other attributes nothing only click on the open my search attribute click on texas give me all the like we have like one million two hundred or three hundred thousand wells Sheesh. it loads them in uh, 10 seconds wow that quick I you're looking at a map and, and map. you're it's the, populated yeah the whole the software actually let me tell you this um when uh, when when i started working on this i did some benchmarking analysis and i contacted some of people that i know like i know like reserve engineer people like a friend they have same i know them they're working in all the operators the big operators mm -hmm. and i contacted them and I'm just hey guys do you have a 10 or 15 minutes like kind of interview i want to know what you guys using and what is missing and what do you wish wow. for yeah that's awesome yeah and one of them, the comment that he gave me, it was really interesting. He said, we have all these tools. We have all of them, everything out there. But we don't have time. It's just seriously, I don't have time to just every every six months. They send me new training, new tools. I don't right. have time to go there, like hours of those training. And he said, you know, and I said, OK, can you explain to me, describe me what if you were somebody that you can design your own? Uh, to, yeah. How do you how do you describe what it? Would it be? And he said, I would like to have like first page have all the wells and i'm like okay sure all the wells all the dots and i can click on each well that i want or i can zoom in oh on the gosh. area aui that i want zoom in and click on the well that i want and see all the info for that well Change. i don't want to go through anything else query building or anything else i wow. just want to have the maps see yeah. all of them zoom in like a permian or like a the yes. county or whatever you want to you everything know everything you, know you have i want to click see on everything. it and see all the info for that well yeah. and i can click on the next well and have them next to each other so i can compare them or i want to run my search have my area like 10,000 or 20 or like 100,000 yeah. how many wells that you have in your area or load your shape file Load your shape file, so it's gonna give you all the wells inside that shape file. Anything. It can old. do a spatial query. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. You can you can you can build your own shape file, like yeah. a draw a polygon, yeah. or you can load shape file, any shape file that you have. So you right can load on. the shape file. It's gonna give you all the wells. Everything that's inside. And also there. you can add some search, like, okay, so inside this shape file, I want the wells that been uh, producing since 2015 or i want the wells that producing like the cum oil is more than this value oh, okay. or less wow. or between this or they have a completion or their lateral length i only want to see like a 5000 lateral or 10000 yeah. or whatever so and that's what he asked just something very quick just load this and just look at them and look at their production compare them yep 
And that's that's yep. simple. Like, look at your type curve. Like right. A, IP to, data. I'm always yeah. selling Nate. IP data, man. Yeah. I want to see what it did in the first 24 hours. We I'm have bubble we, map have, we have IP. We have IP 90. We have IP 30. And we have IP 90. We have two IPs nice. that we calculate them actually. So what about it's the, all the data. oh okay IP thirty and IP ninety that's we, yeah cool. we calculate that's, them. Uh, that's based yeah. on the uh, the reported production but how about the submitted uh, first twenty four hour we, IP we have that one too nice yeah. how about gravity of oil and gravity of gas and stuff like that I I don't know if you have that you have the APIs yeah I I can check that I know that you. it's in the database I'm always talking to Nate about this I'm like Nate and he's like what's up dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. No, Andrew, do we have I I, do we have gravity info like IP? We have do we? Okay, then we have yes. I can <laughs> find it. I can find it. Yeah. Okay. Not every well reports it, right? Right. Not every if, operator does. If that does. data is reported by a client, so we have it. Okay. Good. Yeah. It, there's there's a there's a, a column for it, but the operator doesn't always have to say, "Oh, I'm having 36 gravity oil." And what I've noticed in the data. Something I can talk to Nate about. Um, what I've noticed in the data is that the the operator over like 20 years has to file what's called a W-10. And that's where this data comes from. And not not every report has gravity. And it's over 10 years. And sometimes the beginning gravity was 40. And now it's like 35. The updated right? one. If they have updated one. Yeah. Yep. And so I'm, I'm trying to organize that data of. All right. I want to know. It, I want to know what it did in the first 24 hours. I want to know its gravity. As soon as possible, if they reported that. So, too. is that important for you to be as Absolutely. a search attributes that you yes. want? Okay, that's a good feedback because in we don't have that one in uh, right now in our search attributes. We have production statistics, right. we have completion attributes, we right. have header attributes, uh, which is like a location, state, county, or area. And also, yeah. we have what else do we have? Uh, oh, if double has production, has forecast, has test or injection, all those info. But we don't have that API. Yeah. The, the gravity in the search I do. So it's a good comment. You know, just we love those comments. Yeah. That that's how we build this. And we have an advisory board me members. They were really? all like a end users, different companies. Really? And, and they all meeting. kind of sit on your on a they board. Do, they do, yeah. We have monthly meetings with them and every month we present for them what are what's what we have done what are the changes Dang. so every month like we give them a demo like what has changed really? since last month and we get and, and, and for some stuff that we don't know like you know because we are designing like right i i have different opinion like my colleagues they have different opinion we don't know what to do and it's just okay so let's keep that one for that why i took it i added to the list let's talk to the people and ask their opinion how do you want to see like colors do you want to have oil green gas red or you wouldn't ma you wouldn't care yeah. just any simple yeah. thing everything yeah. so we get their idea like what do you think how the font size what do you think about the font Sheesh. size and like you got every this whole single every telling single you. small like a thing we get their idea it's incredibly valuable right yeah, like, there yeah just any any idea so we're just keep improving so yeah. we're gonna have a full lunch in june but we're not gonna stop improving we have a long list for after june like we gotta just keep adding more and more to it so yeah. it's just gonna keep adding more and keep improving Man. this too that is really cool yeah i'd love to stay in, in contact about this idea of of getting the api of the gravity over time or how it was reported that's a great idea i never yeah. think of it like that so you just can look at I, I can add i can add that to the list yeah it's nice. a great idea nice yeah. okay tell me more well data analytics tell yeah. me more so you log in the main page is all the wells something like that that's the that's a um, the shape file that i loaded okay but when you have it i don't know if i send you the picture of the yeah i don't think you have it your login page is all wells in the united states all like blue dots everywhere and then you can build your search on the left you have all those attributes that some of them default one are there but there's the add more so you can add more yeah. search attributes and then you can click and every time that you are adding more uh, it's just then it's just like expected well count. It's just getting updated, updated, and then you click on a search and the map zoom in on the area that you had in few seconds. Zoom into the area mm -hmm. that you had, so you have a map of the your search results, mm -hmm. and also on the bottom you have a grid of the search results. That grid has hundred columns. Wow, that's the all first one, the. 
it's tw- it's 16 vis- like visible but there are more columns in the background so you can go add more columns you can customize the shape of the group that you want like which columns you want so you can go ahead and customize that because you know and you can save huh. that people have different you know different just all their little yeah yeah, yeah. You, you can you can save your own customized search so every time you zoom in it's going to pop open what you yeah. want to see right yeah. away yeah oh, right cool. away so you can save it so you can build your grid yeah oh i like i don't care about like all like it's 100 grids. so these are the important ones i'm going to compare so you can sort them out put them there and just save it next time when you have your new search just use your saved one it's easier so you don't have to go through so wow. you're just kind of like saving your own dashboard right on and and then so when you have all of this so you let's say you have all delaware basin wells like that's my search i'm looking at all delaware basin wells wells producing i'm gonna like look at only recent one 2018 wells you search them like let's say you have hundred thousand wells there right and then you want to look at you, you zoom in on some area that you're you're more interested some specific wells you click on the whole pad click on all those wells and you look at their production and compare those production like you have a production plot type curve bubble map so you can compare them very easy that hmm. just all of them very quick five yeah. ten minutes that's Man. it i'm i'm constantly now anyway constantly getting uh assets that are available right in some field that i don't know and i'm, I'm i go into longbow right away uh-huh. right i load it up and i load that field and uh-huh. i try to see all that data yeah and what i'm doing is taking static pictures mm-hmm of this really dynamic data set, oh, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I put it in a, in a uh, PowerPoint mm-hmm. and then in, in, in like a day or two, I'm sitting in front of the investors and I'm saying, hey, here's the, the asset you presented and saying, look at this, is this something we wanna invest in or not? And then I start going through kind of those clunky, like um, snapshots yeah. of the data. And what I imagine now is I can be a lot more dynamic with these investors because they always have different questions. Oh yeah, of course. So when I load this stuff and I'm like, all right, here's what they want to see, <laughs> decline curve over time and yeah. IPs and all this stuff. I take snapshots of it, but there's always something that they're like, well, you know, what what was that? Why did it go down over here? You can here? have that. It's a cloud-based application. Anywhere you can open it. As soon as as long as you have internet, you can so you can have it with them and just click on it. You right? don't have to even save that. But also the other thing that we are working on it and we'll have it by June release is that we have a report builder so hmm. whatever you you decide what do you want to save so it's going to rebuild your report every time just click on it it's going to build your report so you don't even have to take a screenshot and save it in your powerpoint so it's going to build your report for you yeah or just have the application open in your computer and right. any question that they have just click on it right. without any issue just, that's what just, i'm thinking okay, about you want to look it. at this production let me show it to you let yeah I just want no, to open no it up live and yeah, I want to just exactly. dive in and they can ask whatever questions they want. Yeah. We can look at decline curves. Mm-hmm. We can, that's what I'm, that's what I want to do with this, yeah. this new development. The, the other thing that actually, I forgot to mention that we have a well card for every well. So you can right click, yeah, right click on each well and it's going to pop up the well card. That well card, card? Card, yeah, for oh. each well. We okay. have that well card for each well. So you can... That well card has tabs. You see that the box, this th- one that's here. a well card. Yeah. yeah. So they have different tabs. So one, the first one Headers, is a header, statistics, statistic, purse, test, purse. tests. And we are adding more. So we are right now adding the production to it too. So for that, that specific well, well, it's going to show oil, gas, water production with forecast in the well card. And also one other thing that we are, I'm right now working on it, you're adding the well bore spacing. So Every single well in the map yeah. that you click on it, you, it's going to show you the well bore spacing gun barrel diagram. Because the view that you have, it's a 2D right. map view. Map view, right. But it's going to give you gun barrel diagram for every single well. Every single you click on the well, it's going to show you gun barrel view of the well looking at the... Coming at you. Coming at you. It shows, and it's going to add the formation tops. The well that you selected is going to be in the middle. It's gonna show you all the wells around it, to and also it's gonna and also it's gonna call like a vintage, like he's a child or parent. So you look look at it every well It'll know around which it. One was completed which formations? Before the yeah, which one completed is like a sibling well, child right. or parent well. And right. also it's gonna tell you what formations because like looking at the map view, it's not gonna tell you much. 
which formations they are located. Are they like a parent or child well? Sure. But the gun barrel diagram is going to tell you, okay, these wells, how many wells are in the same formation, how many are like a shallower. Oh, wow. And also it's going to give you what we are adding to the database is like a minimum all those distance, all those spaces, like a minimum, like a horizontal spacing, like what's the closest horizontal spacing, yeah. what's the vertical, all of those distances. And right all on. of them is going to be like a, in a, we decided to do 2,500 on both sides, like at the gun barrel. 2,500 feet? Yeah, each side. So the whole length of that gun barrel diagram is going to be 5,000 nice. by 10,000 vertical. We nice. can change it though. So we have... We haven't tested that one yet, so it depends on you or other users' feedback. We can change sure. it, but, but it doesn't matter. More than more than 2,500, you don't care because they have no production interaction, so you don't even care about them. Wow. what is happening more than that. How interesting. So that's something that we are right now working, but it's going to be in our June release. So you click on each well. Yep. You have that well card. Yep. You'll have header, statistic, test, completion, production plot for that single well, and also the gun barrel diagram for that single well. It's going to tell you the whole story, what's happening around yeah. that well. Now, if you had vertical wells in this area and you, you paid for the whole like a la carte TGS where you might have workstation ready LAS files or even just raw LAS or rasters, is there a way to create cross sections across? It, it should be, but not right now. Okay. So right now, this is only well data. But okay. we are planning to add, like, you know, our, we have R360, like our well log database. Yeah, 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 R360. That, that the plan is adding. So at the end, in, at the end of in two years, we're going to have only well data analytics. All of this application is going to be combined in wow. this one. Right now, we haven't added the well logs yet. We added DSTs, so you can download DSTs from DSTs this. DSTs are DSTs, on yeah, the... Yeah, nice, already here. Nice. But well logs, not yet. So okay. that's the plan for... The next two years. Not next two years, like, a, but step by step. By okay. by in in two years, we'll have well data analytics, only well data analytics. Everything, okay. everything is gonna be in one platform, one cloud based platform. So nice, our client, nice. they don't need to do. You know, you don't need to go get different applications for different, you know, different goals. You can only get this one, and you have access to everything. Yeah, because you're like, I'm looking for a sonic log. I want to see a. Everything. Right, yeah, just, you don't have to go get the logs from different application. Get the well data from here. Everything is gonna be in one platform. Yeah, right on. but that's a long-term plan. Sure. Yeah. We are, but what also we are working on is that we'll have it by the end of the year. That's not gonna be ready by June release. We are adding the economic, like you know, financial data for each well. We hmm. are gathering all those like a uh, data information, like a cost, com like a uh, the cat, the completion, everything, like right. operation costs, all those costs for wow. each well. Based on, you know, we're getting the, like a, the state data, like the public, the public releases by sure. these companies and like a quarterly public releases. And we get those data and assign the wealth based on the clo lo lo location wise and calculating like, you know, do dollar per foot for each well. So wow. this, this well, it's going to cost you, it costs that much per foot to complete, drill, complete and production, or all of it together. Jeez. So you can plan for your new well, right. so you know what is the cost on that area. Right. You already know, because you look at the wells next to it and you know how much is how much it costs, so you know what is, what's gonna happen under new wells. Man, yeah, this is cool. I really like the, the setup. I really like what's going on. It must be exciting to work on something like this, right? Yeah, every, everybody in our team, everybody is excited and we all are working so hard on it. Everybody, Good. like just, and I'm, not only the product owners, everybody else is working on this project. Yeah. You're everybody constantly meeting the people that are using it. How do you want to use it? How Just can we make it better? Day. From eight in the morning, we have meetings back to back, back to back meetings we have with our software developers because like you gave me ideas, so I need to just design it. Like say, okay, that's what I want and just, yeah translated in a language that they understand because they are not technical people they are not oil and gas people but we have to translate it for them right. write down the business mm -hmm. logic for them deliver right. it to them and provide some examples and they do it so i have to test it and then approve it and then release it and then yeah all of a lot that. of pressure yeah but How it's all good all yeah good. you got a good team around you got good managers yeah, every, everything, everything good communication yeah everything that's is all great. you need that's everybody all you need. is working so hard and uh, we represented this to lots of people and also people are excited. Yeah. Like, like users, they're all excited. They want to say, oh, we want to use it now. I'm like, sure. 
All right, so yeah, let's buddy. go into the completion part of the show. I definitely understand well data analytics. I'm excited, like you've, like you've obviously pointed out. Uh, there's many reasons to be excited, but you mentioned kind of in the next two years, you're gonna be integrating more things. What do you think is right from right now until the big release in June at Eurotech, what are you what are some of the big things that you're like let's get let's make sure we got this ready to go are you guys pretty much already like kind of oh the, the billboard spacing the gun barrel diagram we're working on that one okay and we're adding more you're just adding more so little more analysis like a put plots we're adding more okay the, the, the whole base is already built in yeah everything is built in like we yeah. have the maps already set up we are everybody's happy with the grids everything but we are just adding more and more okay yeah right on Right on. Well, let's re let's stay positive during this time. That's what yes. this book's all about. Staying positive. I always read. Nice. I always read a quote. Maybe it uh, maybe it speaks directly to you. Sounds maybe it doesn't. <laughs> but they're encouraging quotes and messages to fill your life with positive energy. Of course, always. Posi always have positive energy, right? Always. All right. I'm just gonna every randomly morning pick. when you get up, you should have a positive energy. Yeah, that's right. Your baseline needs to be positive. Yeah. Right. Be negative positive. is there. Like there's no, every everything in the universe has a negative energy. Yeah. We but, all but do. But you don't want it in your life, no. But right. If you can focus on the positive, recycle those negative things into positive steps, you're just going to succeed. And I 100% agree. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to read this one, see how it, how it hits you. Okay. If you want your team to serve, serve them. If you want your people to care, care about them. If you want your team to love their work, then love them. If you want your employees to be their best, Give them your best. That's a great code. Who is it from? Uh, it doesn't say, so it must be this guy. John Gordon or Daniel Decker. Wow. It's a really, really great code. It, I literally was just shuffling the page, and I just randomly wow. stopped. Yeah. Just... And I mean, that's literally your position, too. You're yeah. kind of like, you're the product owner. You're seeing all these people respond to, the, to, to feedback, and we're saying, hey, we need to create this. I know you guys are tired. I know you're working hard. Maybe you need to talk to them. They were not all feel like that about me. But yeah, just, I, I had a, one funny like experience. Like I had a meeting with these software developers and I have a colleague that's sitting next to me. He's completely different team. He's in seismic, like completely yeah. different thing. And when my meeting was over, <laughs> he told me, Asal, remind me to never, ever mess up with you. And I'm like, what? What happened? <laughs> and he said, oh, no. And I'm like, what? I was nice. Yeah. And he said, oh, that was your nice version. <laughs> and I'm like, I thought I was nice. <laughs> I think we had a deadline, something, but they didn't do it. And I, I really was, I, I thought I was nice. But yeah. apparently from outside, it doesn't look like that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I need to, I need to be... <laughs> work work more on myself like, yeah exactly yeah or, right yeah <laughs> well that, that quote was good yeah i think that was kind of like yeah that was what it takes to really have a team that's really doing something special and creating something of value for the industry it's i agree it's important you guys but, are but doing it's it. very difficult to do it yeah. I, I i yeah it's a great attitude to have that's right but it's difficult and it needs more work right yeah to be positive i'm gonna print that time. out and we'll just put it on urtex yeah backdrop S send like me that. one take a picture of it and send me one i need one of those all right <laughs> we'll do yeah. we'll do yeah. well thank you so much for doing the show thank i had a you. great time Thanks. meeting you yeah me too i had a great conversation with you yeah and i wish enjoy. you nothing but the best yeah enjoy sitting next to you guys today yeah. full day and tomorrow yeah all day yeah together. that's right yeah cool thank Good. you Saul. thank you thanks